Before you begin your Skyrim modding journey, please note that you must own and have installed on your PC a copy of Skyrim Special Edition or Skyrim Anniversary Edition. The creation kit does not have an in-application content viewer, therefore you need the base game to view, test, and play your mod creations in-game. To get started, you will need to fire up Steam and head over to the store page. Once there, click on the search bar in the top right corner and type Skyrim Creation Kit. A small pop-up should appear just below the search bar with a clickable image slash link. This link will bring you to the Skyrim Special Edition Creation Kit landing page. Although it is labeled Special Edition, it is in fact the anniversary or AE version of the Skyrim Creation Kit, released exclusively on Steam in 2022. The previous version of the Skyrim Special Edition Creation Kit, released on the Bethesda launcher, is no longer available for use and is discontinued. If you scroll down to the middle of the this page, you will see a green button, which allows you to install the latest version of the software. Once the download is finished, the Skyrim Special Edition Creation Kit will appear in your library, under the Software category. It's very important that you do not use the Skyrim Creation Kit found under the Tools category, as it is the oldest original version used by the Skyrim Legendary Edition released in 2013. In order to gain access to the full design potential of the Creation Kit, you must first unlock and manually load multiple master files, or ESMs. By default, the Creation Kit only loads the Skyrim and Update master files, but if you want to access the game's downloadable content, or DLCs, you will need to manually unlock them for use in the Creation Kit. If you try and load these master files without unlocking them first, you will receive the following error message in the Creation Kit. The first thing you want to do is go to your Skyrim directory and locate your Creation Kit dot, any file. The file icon should look like this. Double-click on this file to open it in the Notepad Windows application. You should see section headers, followed by several lines of text. Near the top of the document, look for the General section. Just below the General section header, enter the following two lines of text. Next, scroll down to the Archive section and look for the line of text that begins with S, Resources, Archive, List, 2. Just after the equals sign, enter the following text. Do not forget the S at the end of Hearth Fire. Save this file and you are all set. Open up the Creation Kit and select all master files you wish to use in the Creation Kit. This includes the new Anniversary Edition master files that start with ccbgssse 0 found just below the dragonborn.esm. Press OK and allow the Creation Kit to load the selected master files. The time needed to load these files will depend on how many you selected. All master files, with the exception of the Skyrim.esm and Update.esm, are completely optional. Once a master file is selected, loaded, and used in the creation kit, that ESM becomes a dependency or requirement of your mod, so choose wisely. Once the progress bar has finished and the pop-up has disappeared, the creation kit is ready for use. For your convenience, the creation kit allows the user to customize the layout of its interface. The interface includes the header bar and three windows, the object window, cell window, and render window. Each of these windows can be moved across the screen and adjusted in height and width to the user's preferred setup. The windows can even be moved off the user's primary monitor and arranged on a second monitor, freeing up space for the render window. Also, the creation kit remembers the placement of these windows and any changes made by the user, remaining in the same place each time the software is closed and opened.
the Skyrim modding community has created several patches or fixes to optimize its performance. These updates are completely optional and do not have to be installed, but they have been known to improve the overall mod creation experience. Links to all four optional fixes can be found in the description of this video. When installing optional fixes 1, 2, and 3, please install them in numerical order. Installing them out of order may cause issues. Simply copy or cut and paste the files into the file location below. Do not copy and paste the folders, just the individual files. For the last optional fix, simply copy or cut and paste the processing file folder into the file location below. You are now ready to start your first Skyrim mod.